Today I'm gonna to share with you how you can create picture in picture videos using Adobe Rush. So stick around. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools, and tricks to help you share your story. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how you can add a picture in picture video look like this using Adobe Rush. I've had folks reach out to me and ask, how can you create that? So we're going to be doing that today. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to be using this project here to demonstrate adding the picture in picture. I already have that bottom layer video, which is my main portion of video. It's gonna be filling the whole screen. I also have my logo here set up on another layer. So we're going to bring in the additional layer of video, the one that I'm going to be using as the picture in picture example. So let's go ahead and click on the blue plus sign and we're going to go look for the media. I have it already on the desktop, just kind of show you here. There's all of your media so you can browse through and I know that I have this on the desktop. So I'm just gonna scroll through. I'm going to be using this video for my demonstration. It is shot in nine by 16, which is okay. We're going to crop it. If you have a video that is uh, landscape, it'll work the same. So let's go ahead and close this up now. And Rush will add the video wherever you have the scrub line there. So I'm going to click and drag it here. If you are using a mobile phone, it's going to work exactly the same way. You're just going to be using your fingers to do this. You'll just click on the layer and drag it over, same thing on an iPad or on an Android. My next step here is I'm going to just kind of increase the size, kind of back out a little bit, zoom out. So here we have the layer I'm going to be using. Now it is longer than my original clip, which is fine. For this demo, I'm actually just going to trim it. And what I'll do here is just drag it this way. I could also drag it from the other end. And again, this is just for demo. Now, right now, that top layer is covering up my entire screen here. So what I'll need to do is resize it. So we're going to go use the transform tool up here on the right hand side. And we're going to just scale it down. As you can see, we're going to get into that point where we scale it down, maybe about that uh, big there. And then what I'll do is kind of move the horizontal position. And adjust vertical but i'll do that in a bit now what you could do here is add an overlay of a mobile phone graphic so make it look like you're actually inside a phone here i have another video if you want to check that out be up here somewhere um, but what i'm going to do here is actually crop that down so my next step here is actually go down to the advanced feature now this works again with any video you have here again just make sure that you have this video selected you'll see the yellow bounding box so what we'll do here is kind of crop from the top. As you can see, as I slide it over, it brings down, or I should say crops the video. And then if I use the bottom, do the same thing. So depending on how much you want to crop, it's just up to you. Because I, again, I have nine by 16, I don't really have to crop anything on right or left. Now, if you're using a landscape video to do this, you'll have to crop from right and left, as well as the top and bottom. There is no standard. I kind of go between a perfect square or kind of like a rectangular uh, shape. Just again, whatever you want to. Now, what I'll do here is kind of adjust the vertical here, not too much. And then maybe scale it down a bit more. So if I want to place it on the upper left corner, you kind of have that picture in picture look, or you want to place it at the bottom. A lot of times I will do that. And again, if you want to go all the way perfectly down to the edge, that's pretty cool as well. It just depends. It's a, a personal preference. Um, I kind of go again between the upper left or lower left, just because I face my camera that way, or I should say I face my screen that way. So it kind of makes sense to place myself on the lower left corner. So it kind of looks like I'm looking at the actual uh, video there. And then if I want to, let's, uh, Let's do a little trimming here. So I want to show you like if you wanted to bring it pop in and out of your video and for the demo, I'm going to mute the layers here and then hit play. So as you can see that video is going and then I pop in and I kind of talk about what's going on and then I will pop out. 
Now you can add additional effects to that layer. Let me go up here to the effects button. You can add kind of a dissolve to that layer there. So here's what it will look like instead of just popping in, kind of fade in and then the video will fade out or stay dissolved. And that's pretty much how you can add a layer of video creating that picture in picture look for your videos. I hope this video will help you the next time you use Adobe Rush to add your own picture in picture look for your videos. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click on the bell to be notified for future videos. Thank you again for watching this video, and as always, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.